What will you be doing in Peru? We're going to do various things in Peru. We'll see a lot of the different cultures. We'll hear different languages. We're going to do a service trip, which is really great and very excited for that, but mostly just see a different environment than what we're used to. Go to Machu Picchu, go to the marketplaces, Lima, Cusco, all of the cool places we could go while we're there. So. Well, this is my first time taking students on a trip overseas, so I'm really excited. I'm going to start off in Lima, and we're going to see some things from the past. We'll see the Inca history, and we're going to see some things from the Spanish when they were there. And so I'm really excited. And we're going to see the ruins of Machu Picchu, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, we will be uh, visiting a lot of places, Lima and Machu Picchu. Uh, where, will you, where will you be staying in Peru? So we start in Lima, then we fly out to Cusco, and we're around uh, Machu Picchu and Aguas Calientes, so we're in a couple different places. But uh, we start in the coast, head inland, high, high altitudes, and then come back. So, How long do you guys think you'll be there? We're, our trip is nine days, so we have two long days of travel, and then, so we'll really be in Peru for seven days. What made you want to go to Peru? Um, well, I've never been to South America. And no one in my family has ever been to South America, and it was offered, so I thought, why not? Um, I've always wanted to go to one of the seven wonders of the world, which is Machu Picchu. And plus, it's a service trip, so it's great to just gain some experience. Um, well, I saw the itinerary, and I saw that they're doing a service project, and that we're visiting Machu Picchu, and I thought it would be a fun trip to go on and experience new culture. Uh, Peru just sounds like a place you want to go to. Like... Everybody wants to go to Peru. Like, find someone you, who doesn't want to go to Peru. It's Peru. Uh, well, the opportunity to go to any Spanish-speaking country as a Spanish teacher is really cool. But also the idea of getting to expose my students to something that they're not used to seeing and something that's new to them was, uh, I think, the biggest motivation, seeing something that they don't normally get the opportunity to see. I really love old historic um, structures that people have made in the past. I've been to um, some ruins in Thailand. I've been to the, the Great Wall in China. And so this is just another p p place on my list that I really wanted to see. Uh, have you been on any other school trips besides Peru? This is my first, so wish me luck. <laughs> I've been on trips with teachers, but this is my very first trip taking students. None. This, this is your first? Yeah. No, I have not, so I am very excited. <laughs> uh, no, I have not. What do you expect it will be like? Like, What do you think the experience is going to be like when you get there? I think that getting there will be a little stressful, you know, travel on the planes and have all your stuff, but I think once we're there, we're going to have a really great time. Um, I'm very excited about the group of students that I have going. I think it's going to be really fun. Um, just going to get to do all these different active things and see things, and I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm not really quite sure how it's all going to be like, but we're going to do our service because we know that so many people there need um, more than what they have for electricity and water. And so this goes along with a lot of my environmental classes. And so I've been putting a website together showing some of the projects going on in Peru, helping people get electricity, helping people get clean water, helping people learn trades so that they can make a living buying free trade coffee. So I'm hoping that I'm going to bring back a lot of information for my classes. What do you expect to gain out of the experience? Um, I think that I'll be exposed to a lot of a new culture that I've never seen, so that's exciting. And I'll get to work on my Spanish, so that's good. Um, I'm definitely going to learn a lot more. I'm not necessarily sure yet, but I'm probably going to come out of this more experienced, more open to the world, and different cultures, and different people, and I'm, yeah. Um, I think I'll get to experience, like I'll learn more about the culture, especially by doing like the service project and I'll like see how they live over there and like some stuff like that. <laughs> uh, I think it's going to be great. I mean, I'm really looking forward to it. And it's like traveling with my friends, you know, visiting places that I've never been to. It's just like a new experience. Finally, how many llamas do you expect to see in Peru? All the llamas, um, but no, every single one. No, I'm hoping. Um, do I have to give like a number? Um, twenty-three. Because there are twenty-three of us. I do not know, but I hope I see a lot. Uh, if you were to give an exact integer, what would it be? Ten. Ten. All right. <laughs> Ten it is, folks. <laughs> Hopefully, a lot. <laughs> I want to see a lot. 
25. 25. Yeah. 25. <laughs> Maybe more. I don't know. Um, I hope a lot, and I hope they're alive because I know they eat them over there too. So, uh, yeah. I'm hoping like 35, but my guess is like probably two. What was your favorite part about the Peru trip? Um, my favorite part was kind of like looking at the culture and like how things work in like Peru because I am Peruvian and I've never been so it's my first time and it was pretty cool seeing everything. Uh, I really liked Machu Picchu. Uh, it was really cool and looked really nice. Um, I really liked the culture of it all and I really liked Machu Picchu. It was really pretty. Um, my favorite part was when we went to a really pretty garden. Yeah. What did you like about it? Um, there was lots of flowers and lots of Peruvian pottery. There were so many favorite parts, but I think the best part was the day that we did our service and we helped people build walls of a kitchen to help them have a women's work center. Um, I liked the scenery and like making new friends and on the trip. Yeah. Um, meeting all the people, they were all very nice. My favorite part about going to Peru, besides the kids, um, was seeing Machu Picchu, seeing Ollante Tambo, learning about Peruvian culture, listening to the language, seeing the, I loved when we were on the uh, trains or the buses to see the countryside, all the different landscapes, it was just absolutely gorgeous. And did you learn anything while you were there? Um, I learned that, like, it's very hard to live there because, like, they're not, like, as, like, luxurious as us and especially with like the water situation like they need like bottled water to like live and like we usually don't have that so yeah yeah but, like a lot on how fortunate we are here than like other people are there it's just like it's very different and you don't really realize how fortunate we are here until like you go somewhere else where they're less fortunate uh i learned that the uh the incan people uh created like little terraces stuff like that yeah I learned some new Spanish, so that was that was good. <laughs> Impressing Senorita Polanski? Yeah, all the way. She'd be proud. And did you learn anything while you were in Peru? I did. Learned a lot of things. I learned about pre-Columbian art. I learned about the difference between alpaca and a llama. Um, some of the things that happened in colonial uh, Peru, what they did to the Inca people. Sad. Um, well, I didn't speak any Spanish before, so now I know a little more, like, gracias and hola. <laughs> I learned how to say gracias. <laughs> Tons, actually. Uh, one of the coolest parts was learning about pre-Incan civilizations and cultures. Uh, we think of, we always think of the Incas, but there's so much before that history, which was really interesting to learn about. And can you comment on exactly how many llamas you saw while you were in Peru? I saw 18 llamas, I think. Yeah, that was actually really cool. Like, um... Five? No. Like ten. Ten? Ten. Okay, maybe ten, yeah. Very impressive. Uh, yeah, like four or five. Maybe ten. I'd say about ten to fifteen. About thirty or forty. Yeah. I saw nine. Two were pets. They were at the Seminario Artist Studio, and then I saw seven at Machu Picchu. They were there for lawnmower. They, cut, they kept eating the grass so that it wouldn't be grown too long, tall. Um, probably around like 10, maybe. Yeah. Did you get that poncho while you were in Peru? Yeah, it's made out of um, alpaca fur. Uh, a lot. I don't know. Can you give a specific number? 19. <laughs> 19. Can you give the exact number of llamas that you saw? No, I can't. Uh, we saw a lot. We saw alpacas as well, and we did learn the difference. Or, well, there's various differences, but one of them, llamas eat the top of the grass, whereas alpacas rip out all of the grass. So that's why they have llamas at Machu Picchu and not alpacas.